Uh, next up, Chris Lewis. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Klobuchar, Ranking Member Lee, for the invitation to testify today. Uh, Public Knowledge is a nonprofit digital rights organization whose mission is to fight for an open internet, free expression, and affordable access to communications work, communications tools, and creative works. And we see promoting robust competition online as a key part of that mission. Tech users are increasingly feeling like they have no power over tech giants online, and at times feel stuck with them. Big tech companies are popular for democratic speech they support, uh, for the ease of purchasing products, and the communities that they foster. However, there is a distinct downside. Consumers don't know or understand how they are being tracked or influenced. Small businesses must accept unfair treatment in order to access consumers through the digital platform that, that dominate the internet. Their products can be unfairly demoted in search results, their ability to communicate with their customers can be limited, and their competitively sensitive business information can be misused. On social media, where so much of our modern political debate takes place, women, people of color, and other marginalized communities face harassment that pushes us out of the conversation. Radicalization pipelines on social media have offline consequences. Digital platforms are a distinct sector that need new laws and rules to address their power and protect users. Antitrust laws have an important role to play here, but existing antitrust law will not be sufficient. Here's a four-part framework that we've come up with uh, for how I think we can best address the variety of policy cha challenges posed by dominant digital platforms. The first is the subject of this hearing, competition. We need sector-specific pro-competition legislation to empower consumers and business users by incentivizing market entry and facilitating switching to new platforms. Competition empowers customers to choose the option that is best for them. In many markets, that's the best price, but in digital platforms where the price is often zero dollars, competition may happen along a variety of quality measures. Consumers might prefer to see fewer ads, more relevant search results, more reliable information, perhaps filtering tools or any harassment tools, or even more or less content moderation. The American Innovation and Choice Online Act, ECOA, and the Open Apps Market Act will make sure consumers are actually seeing the products that are best for them and not just products that are best for tech's bottom line. By taking away some of the key tools that big tech uses to stifle competitors and potential com uh, com competitors online, fair competition rules like those found in ECOA and the Open Apps Market Act will also encourage new innovation to enter the market since they'll know that they can have a fair shot to actually reach customers. Briefly, the other three parts of the framework are important as policymakers address uh, sustainable solutions uh, to meet consumers' needs. Part two is the importance of transparency so that uh, consumers and business users can make informed choices. Transparency and due process practices paired with interoperability requirements can build trust and empower users when it comes to content moderation. Third, we need consumer protection laws and rules to address platform harms that won't be improved by competition. The first and most important of these will be a comprehensive privacy uh, bill uh, like the ADPPA, which we support. Everyone deserves to have their privacy respected. Lastly, these responsibilities should be housed in a new agency, an expert digital regulator. This regulator would work together with antitrust enforcers, not in lieu of antitrust enforcement. It would have competition, privacy, and other consumer protection authorities. It could also address content moderation concerns through transparency and due process requirements. And it could help carefully craft the future of algorithmic oversight and accountability. Given the bipartisan work of Congress over the past few years, we believe this framework can build a foundation for a better internet in the future. I know folks may disagree on some of the details of, of these legislative proposals, but we are happy to work with you and other stakeholders to find workable solutions. So thank you for inviting us here today, and I look forward to your questions.